How good can an 18 pound whiskey be? Let's find out, shall we? So, Glen Murray Elgin Classic, Speyside Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Anyone who's a bit of a Scotch aficionado, anyone that likes their different single malts, in the UK at least, has almost certainly had a bottle of this. Because it's not only widely available in most of the UK supermarkets, but it's really cheap as well. You can usually find this stuff on special offer for £18, but that price doesn't really change a lot. It's on offer, or that's just the normal price. Most of the time, it's just really cheap, readily available, really affordable, fairly reliable, basic single malt scotch whiskey. So I'm in two minds as to whether it's even worth going over the label, because A, they're not going to tell us a lot, and you probably already know the, the answers to all the questions. Is it natural colour? Almost certainly not. It's not going to be an old whiskey, and that is a heavy copper tint to that whiskey there. So they don't actually say if it's natural colour, but it's not. Is it chill filtered? Again, that's very clear, despite being very tinted. So again, almost certainly is unnaturally coloured. ABV, can you guess? 40% the bare minimum here in the UK. So on paper, you don't actually get too much for your money. It's not really sounding very good at all, at least on paper. Although, if you look at the label there, you can see a little illustration of the distillery. And it looks quite nice, doesn't it? It's very picturesque, very Scottish. It's got a little pagoda roof there, which ostensibly is for their, their floor maltings. I'd love to know if any of you out there watching this has ever been to the Glen Elgin Distillery. Does it actually look like that? <laughs> I'd really like to know. Or have they been as dishonest with that illustration as they have been with the, the colouring in the bottle? Anyway, let's get round to nosing and tasting this £18 supermarket special. So on the nose, you might expect me to say... Ew, that's absolutely disgusting. It smells like paint stripper and methylated spirits, and it really doesn't at all. It actually smells quite sweet and fruity and surprisingly malty. It smells exactly like single malt scotch whiskey, exactly how it should do. And it, it has got a bit of a dry, oaky edge. You can really tell that they have used proper oak casks for this. They haven't made this in a lab somewhere. It's not. They're not trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Believe it or not, it's eighteen pounds single malt Scotch whiskey. Also getting some bready notes in there. Probably something. It's it's not a savoury bread. It's a, a sweet bread. Something like brioche. And there's also some rather nice sweet and sour fruitiness in there as well, as well as some a little, not overly much but a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of marshmallow on the nose as well if I was going to be critical in any way I'd say that if you're really looking for it underneath all of those flavors that I've just said on the nose there is a little bit of starchy youthfulness a little bit of slightly ugly starchiness but I'm really having to reach there to look for something to say negatively about this whiskey. So far, it's all really good. So let's see how it tastes. So on the palate, that is a light and sweet, refined and smooth bourbon matured single malt. It's malty, you've got some lovely... They're subtle, but you've got some really nice barley, malty cereal notes in there. You've got a nice dry, oaky backbone, nice oaky edge to it. And you've also got some fruitiness in there, 
which I would describe as pear, but I'm not describing that as tasting like pear. It actually tastes like an actual pear. And that's a note that you quite often get from your more spirity whiskey, but there's no immaturity to this whiskey at all. It doesn't taste young. I've no idea how old it is because it is no age statement, but it has quite a lovely spirity pear note to the palate. And I can't mark that down for that at all. It's it's really quite nice. As for the finish, it's it's a mild finish and you really can't have everything. There's got to be something that you lose out on for buying a whiskey that's only £18 for a full 700ml bottle. And I would say the complexity, the length of the finish, this is really where it all starts to fall apart a little bit. But it's really not that big of a deal. On the finish it is mild, but it's still got some flavour there. It doesn't disappear immediately. And there is this pleasant maltiness and this really quite pleasant hint of sourness on the finish as well. Not unpleasant in any way, it's just just to let you know that it's still there. So for 40% ABV and no age statement, this is actually a really full and complex whiskey when you compare it to the alternatives, because at 18 pounds, this is really in the probably mid-range blend category in terms of price. And it probably blows away most of the other things that you can buy at this price level. And for that reason, I'm going to give this whiskey a C+. Now, it is true that if you taste this whiskey against some more premium spirits, something like a similar classic bourbon matured whiskey like the Bladnock 10 or the Laddie 10 or the English Whiskey Company's Chapter 14, you are going to notice some real shortcomings with this whiskey. It's going to seem weak, quite tame, and you're going to notice a lack of complexity on behalf of the Glen Elgin Classic. But for what it is, £18, anyone out there, especially if you're on a tight budget or if you're just getting started out in the world of whiskey and you want a whiskey that's not been messed around with, you want to experience single malt scotch whiskey as it is without anything to distract you, no cask finishes, no peat, nothing unusual. You just want to know what standard basic scotch whiskey is. This, you really can't go wrong. And if you're looking for a gift for anyone that likes whiskey, providing they're not a massive snob, again, £18, this is thoroughly enjoyable. It's on the mild side, but it's £18. <laughs> In my opinion, for that price, you can go a lot worse than a bottle of this stuff. It's not mind-blowing, and that's reflected in the C-plus grade that I've given it. But for the price, highly recommended in my book. Cheers. <laughs>